in the world. What's that? But anyway, welcome everybody to another Broke Black Critic Conversation featuring myself, Romelo Catois. And me, Remy LeBeau. What it do? Yeah, thanks everybody for tuning in. Um, a lot of interesting stuff going on you know, sure. in this in this crazy world. Uh, but on top of that, shout out to um, Fast Money Digital, D85, the whole click, Bones, um, local artist out of Emporia, Virginia. The M. Check them out on Reverb Nation, Facebook, and all that good stuff. Uh, shout out to you for tuning in. Thank you. First and foremost, we ain't gonna waste no time. We're gonna get right into it. Uh, big big trade deals going on in the NBA. We gotta talk about the NBA. Yeah. Melo to the Knicks, uh Darren Williams to the Nets, Bibby to the Wizards. Is it anymore? Uh they they're not right now, but there will be. There will be. Well Billups is with the Knicks. I mean everybody talking about Everybody Man. talking about Carmelo Anthony. Billups is now in New York. Yeah, Billups is a New York And it's going to be a problem. You thought Felton was something. Big shot. Billups. I think they're going to be a problem. No, no, they're not going to be a problem. They're going to be a problem. Billups, well, problem. you know what? Billups did take a bunch of nobodies to the finals. And won. And won. It. And won it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You got to say it right. They went to five Eastern Conference championships in a row. Mm-hmm. Two, they went to two finals. And should have won two in a row. If you forget Mm-hmm. He should have won two in a row, but they beat they beat the uh, the Lakers Hall of Fame team, didn't they? And they had a Hall, a Hall of Fame team. They did. They did. Uh, hey, but I think they go. Hey, I think they're gonna give Miami a run for their money, man. They're not gonna give Miami that. Hey, tell me anything. Come man. on, man. Leave the weed alone. Oh, uh, oh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it alone, man. And if this gets to my job. Yes. The King LeBaron. <laughs> I, only, I only see one team stopping him, and I ain't going to say who. And it ain't the Celtics. Lee John. Lee John. That's what you call him. <laughs> Why you call him Lee John? Dude, this, ain't that what my man said on on, on, a, on a Ghost Rider? Who are you? We are Legion. He is Legion, man. <laughs> I hear you talking, man. I hear you talking. But they're not going to win. Yeah. yeah. They're not going to win. So and you didn't uh you you did mention Darren Williams to the Nets, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, that's a did. Uh you know what I, I thought I thought they would be, uh the Knicks would have been better off with Darren Williams and no. uh, and um uh, and Carmelo. Mm. No. Come on man, they could have did like a three way trade. Carmelo, Darren Williams and, and the Stoudemire. Man, come on man. They would have unlo- people would have been unloading teams. What you mean unloading? They would have yo the, the Knicks wouldn't have had nothing. Nah, it, to get all it that. wouldn't have been like that because the on. Knicks, Sheep. the Knicks need. I mean, the Nets need draft picks. They don't need you Man. know. The Nets want to win. When they get to Brooklyn, they're gonna want to win. That's the bottom line. The point guard ain't gonna do all that in the East. You need more than a point guard. You you don't need a scoring point guard to win it. Listen, man. Thank you. Your hesitation set no, it off. No, no. You need more hesitation than a, set it off, people. You need hesitation more than, set it off. Listen, you need more than a point guard on the East. Period, man. Yeah, I will agree with that. But you don't need a scoring point guard. Thank you. Thank you. That's all I need to hear. Anyway, uh, on to further news. No, we, <laughs> we we on to further news. Uh, you know, uh, on the same same token, well, I hope I hope Bibby. Oh, well, Bibby ain't really doing too. I mean, he, there's not much he can do with the, the Wizards. Well, they got you know what they got Bibby to teach Wall. That was a, that was because they needed a uh, they needed a veteran man. They didn't because Kurt wasn't going to teach him nothing. We all know Nick Young's not going to teach him nothing. Did, he, Nick, did Nick Nick Young stay with the Wizards? Yeah, okay. this was a straight up. This they swapped. They just swapped players. Who they give up? They just gave up Kurt Hyde. Oh, yes. Yeah, for for Bibby. That's good. Yeah. That did us some justice. Get him out of here. <laughs> but he wasn't a bum. Who He's was, not the problem. Who wasn't a bum? Kurt. Somebody dropped, point guard dropped 40 on Kurt. Oh, shit. Yeah, 40. That don't mean nothing, man, the NBA. Because you, you can get means 40. a lot. You can get lot. 40 put on you on any night, man. Quickly, like that. Come on now. Come on. Don't say that. Don't say that. Yeah, me, right. Because Dwayne Wade going to call... Uh, 
go guard Kobe Bryant. And what happens if Kobe goes for one of those magical 60-plus games? The point guard scored 40. Heimer scored like seven. Oh. Okay. I mean, fast, fast don't lie. <laughs> fast don't lie. Don't. <laughs> uh, well, what's next on the agenda? Uh, sticking to the NBA, man. Uh-huh. Hey, listen, man. Stick with your team. McGee got robbed. Robbed. Dunk yo, yo. Yes, he did. He got robbed. Yeah, he got robbed. Blake. Your, your man didn't jump over. He didn't jump over the car. He jumped over the hood. Listen, he was better off jumping over that little Asian boy that was in there at first, man. <laughs> For real, man. He, he barely he barely jumped over the car. Hold on. Hold on. He jumped over the hood of a car. Now, people that, that was impressed by that, I want you to go to the front of your car. And just stand still. And jump over. And jump on it. Jump, jump, just jump on it. Yeah. Because you can do it. You can do it. Unless you are 300 <laughs> pounds and have not and have and have no athletic ability. Now I ain't gonna say 300 pounds. You but if you, unless you have no athletic ability, you can jump on the hood of a car. Especially that what was it? It was a Kia. It was a Kia. A Kia. I ain't gonna lie, that Kia was a looked like a big body Kia, but man, it's still come a Kia. On, man. It's a Kia. Yeah. It's a toy. It's a toy car. It's a Man. I told you, Kenny won that. And Diddy boy, how yeah, fitting. Kenny, yeah, Kenny make me sick, man. How fitting, how fitting he brought a choir to sing for this one. Oh, yeah, man. You know what? No, I'm glad you said that. How I forgot about that. He brought a choir out to sing for that, man. How fitting for that? I want to see, I want to see them religious, I want to see religious people, man. How fitting he brought a choir out there. I bet they got paid for it, too. Listen, man. Hold on. Why are you talking? I'm going to do what they was doing, okay? You ready? Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Dog. I believe I can fly. When I seen that choir come out there. I believe I can touch the sky. I said, man, it's, everything got a price Dream on it, man. about it every night and day. He, he ain't fly over shit. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> no. He ain't fly over no, a damn he, he jumped over a hood of a car. A hood, people. A hood of a car. A hood of a car. Man, this guy, man. And, you know, I knew he was going to... I knew he was going to win. Listen, the dunk that the dunk that Jim, uh, McGee did in the le- final round should have won it alone. The, no, that jump when he dunked on both them baskets when oh, he yeah. threw the jump off. But see, they gave they, they, they gave him the high score throughout the uh, man, throughout the dunk. He should have won that, man. No, this, the first, it's the fans, the man. The dunk that he did. The, I don't know if you remember, but the, 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 he did he did what was it, Clyde Drexler? Which one? From behind him, he dunked the ball. Oh yeah, behind well, the backboard. Hey. hey. He won it. It's the fans, man. Fans are stupid. But see, you know, and I and I kind of thought he sold himself out when he did that last dunk. Nah, man. Come on, man. Come on. Don't don't say that, man. Cause he listen. Don't say that. Listen, man. Blake did an old dunk the first time, so he could have did an old dunk that was spectacular. Blake the second time. Blake Griffin did, did all this. All, all Blake Griffin did. All he, my man, BD threw the lob. He caught it. And jumped over the hood of a car. How how difficult for him was that? Now, I'm not saying that it's not difficult for the average person. But how difficult a dunk was that for him? If you can dunk with two hands, you could have did that dunk that Blake Griffin did. Ah, uh, Somebody would have bust their ass. He did jump from... He, he, he didn't jump from the free throw line, but he, he jumped from a, 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 a nice... And then listen, if he nice, if, space listen, away. If, if he'd have jumped over the the, the, the the axle or the wheel and did a dunk, then I would have said, you know what, he won. He didn't even jump over the wheel. I would agree with that, but but he 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 could he put some launch. To when it. they pulled a car out, I said he's going to kill himself <laughs> because there's no way he's jumping over a car. And then when I seen how they pulled it off, I'm like, I, I, hold on, did you see how they backed it up? I told you, Kenny and the choir won that form. Kenny in the choir. Kenny is man. Ken, yo, that's a, yo. That Kenny need to need to try to market that. Kenny Smith need to market. Kenny in the choir. He won that for him. Go figure. It was a ter- hey. It, but the dunk contest was all right this year. The dunk, the dunk, the dunk contest, contest was, all right. was better than it was the past two years. You know what I'm saying? And and, and on the on the on the topic of Kenny, I'm gonna on, 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 on get off topic. But Kenny, Kenny talked so much trash to Charles Barkley. And Kenny was nowhere near as nice as Charles Barkley in his entire career. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I will agree with that. Oh, I will okay. agree with that. Okay. I, what you thought I was going? But Kenny does have something on him. Yeah, he he has rings. Yeah, okay. but he had a larger one, and he had Clyde. <laughs> Go figure. You know what I'm saying? But, but hold on. 
My thing with the dunk contest. One more, one more, one more oh, question. Is, Ken, is Kenny Smith a Hall of Famer? Whoa. Oh. If you got to think about it, then he's not. He's not a Hall of Famer. There you go. He's not a Hall of Famer. There you go. And yeah. just listen to how much. Tra- tomorrow night, tune in to TNT with 7, 8 o'clock. But hold on. He has a right to talk shit. He, he has a right. He has a right to, has a right to talk shit. But not to Charles Barkley. He got two on Barkley. Right? We talking about. He got so, two. So, so if LeBron never won a ring, right? Uh huh. LeBron never wins a ring. LeBron can never... JJ Riddick talk trash to him if he went two rings? My point exactly. Man, come on, you that that is my point exactly. Yeah, okay. That, it, my point kinda, exactly. Kinda, kinda, but because okay. but, but because his era is coming gone, you know what I'm saying. He ain't no. He ain't mm-hmm. got that legacy. You know, he doing all that running his yap yeah. stuff. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. What you were saying about uh, you know, dunk contest. Oh, when McGee dunked them three damn balls, well, it was a wrap. Yo. That's a, you know how difficult that was. He should have won alone off of creativity. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. All his dunks were original, except for the last, the very last. All his dunks were original. For, hey, they were outside, of, and they required no special effects. And hold on, and they all required a hell of a lot of skill. A hell of a lot of skill. My thing is, these Washingtonians out here need to protest that man. Who the hell was voting for that? Who the hell was voting for that? For them to say that he won jumping over Kia, I want to see the people who voted for him. He jumped Man, over listen, Kia? Listen, listen, first of all, let me, let me explain something to the people that y'all may not know this now. I did a little bit of research. Okay, boom. A text message, well, the average text message, if you if you want to have like a five-digit uh, text line where you want people to call in for promotional purposes, uh-huh. it costs you about $2,000. Now, if you promote that number to the masses, let's say... They they had over millions of people watching yeah. the dunk contest, and they put that text text uh text your winner's name hey. to to five 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 or three 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 three. Yeah. Mind you, they charge you ninety nine cent if you, if if you choose to vote, even if it's fifty cent. Now, can you imagine how much money they made off of that just dunk contest alone? That's why yeah. you know. That's why I'm I don't get too upset about what happened because we all knew that. You know, they didn't even really but, advertise but, the other two people that was but, in the duck contest doing a promotion. It but, was just McGee and Blake Griffin. But that's my problem. First of all, it was a money thing, yes. Yeah, of course. But they take it out the fans' hands, man. That shouldn't have been no money thing, man. This was about fun, man. They took the fun out of it and made it about money. Because everyone in their mama knows that McGee should have won that. With that being said, how did he win that? Who voted? Every day, but I think the fans, um, the fan, the fans voted in the uh, final round. I, I, don't, I, don't I think know the judges took care. Of that, but who, what you mean? Who voted? No, but that's what I'm saying. Who voted? The people what, in what the building people, voted. What kind of people voted for him to win? The, the fa- I mean, if you know an listen. inkling of ba- if you know a little bit about basketball, you know that McGee won. Well, Even listen, if you listen, know a little bit, listen to me, man. If if the fans could vote on who would win the championship. If it came down to a tie, the winner probably wouldn't win. The fan favorite would win. So that I mean, that's not a question. You got people that you know. what I'm saying the, the media put Blake Griffin in your face, and even if you don't know basketball, you, you are know just, Blake Griffin. You yeah. know Blake Griffin, and it's just like it's like when voting comes around. Yeah, you're right. you right. If you don't know what certain candidates stand for, you are gonna vote for well, what, the person that's in your face. The person that's in your on. face, or the signs you've been seeing the whole time during the election. Hold on. Now you brought up vote. Now we're gonna switch subjects real quick. Oh, before you do that, okay. We're, voting is next. Okay, okay, because you know yo, what we're about to <laughs> We got to get on this. McGee, you the man. McGee, we thought you won. You should have won. Did you see his mama? Huh? You see his mama? Yeah, I saw his mama. Are you asking would I beat her down? I didn't ask you that. Oh, okay. I didn't yeah, ask okay, you that. Okay, <laughs> don't, don't, don't give me that. Would you beat her down? I don't, I don't want nobody coming at me, and I don't want nobody talking about my mama getting beat down. Oh, come on. But uh, <laughs> did you see her kiss uh, Dr. Jim? Yo, oh, man. Oh, man. Yo. <laughs> yo. I was about, yo, I would have missed my dog. I'm a Mr. Dunk. He didn't see it, though. Yo, she came and gave everybody a kiss on the cheek. Mm-hmm. And she goes to give Dr. J, Julius Irvin, a no, kiss no, on the cheek. See, see, you know what? It's crazy. Go ahead. We'll Yo. finish it. Did you see how smooth <laughs> he positioned his face? It was like, hmm. <laughs> he just got it. He got it. What and, you going to do? And, and, and you know what? I don't think you can contest that. That was all... <laughs> Dr. J. <laughs> that was Dr. J. That was all Dr. Yo, J. I'm surprised you ain't see his son come out. Man. 
Yo, if oh, this man. song, if this song would have came out, time 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 out. We have comments. We have Whoa. comments. Uh, <laughs> one of our uh, listeners said LeBron's mom got beat down by some of his some of his squad <laughs> in Cleveland. <laughs> hey man, hey, he did. I, I can't let you talk about the boy Wonder LeBron like that, man. man guess what? Word, man. Guess what? Oh man. Guess what? Now, since since someone brought that, you know what? Nah, I, I, but I don't want to talk bad. I don't want to talk <laughs> ill about somebody's mom, Dukes, man. That would be wrong. I don't want to talk ill about somebody's mom, Dukes. But ask yourself this question. No, never, never. I mean, I'm not I mean, say you it, know, man. at I'm least, at least, well, I ain't, nope, we're not even going. Yeah, we're not. I can't. I can't you do it. Man. Can't do it. We might need that endorsement. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, man. That that was wild. Too. It was yeah, a lot of yeah. extra stuff on the dunk contest that was funny. Mm, like, mm, mm. yo. What's the name? What's Reggie Miller? What's the name? Uh, uh, sure. Uh, uh, dang, now I lost. Uh, uh, B- Cheryl Miller. Sure, yeah. Man, she mushed the hell out of that little Chinese boy. He ran up on the court. I don't know if you know that was, her, but that was, but that was all she stage, straight up, man. She straight up full arm. Um, she NFL full. That was all movie. stage, man. I could, I couldn't nah, accept nah. that, man. That was all stage, man. Come on, man. That was all stage. I think McGee should have tried to dunk it. His last dunk should have been from the free throw line. Mm-mm. I would say, get that shit out of here. I'm jumping from the free throw. Line. Somebody already did it. But see, he could have did it. But he, he could have just. Put that ball right here to the side, and you it from the free throw. I think he should have did the vertical twelve feet like they was promoting. But see, you you want to know something? They said he probably could have got it. They said that they had been practicing it, and I guess he could get like eleven feet, eleven inches. Mm-hmm. Now, my my theory behind that was on straight adrenaline, he could have got it. But if he would have missed it. He couldn't have got he it was no way he was gonna succeed in the dunk. Once he missed it on adrenaline, he wasn't gonna make it. That's why they didn't do it. True. So that was that. But now are you ready to go to the uh to the joke about uh, about Obama? Oh man. So the tell him. We don't first of all, if you're just not tuning in, welcome to Broke Black Critics featuring myself, Romelo Catois. And Remy LeBeau. And uh, we just finished talking about, you know, the festivities. It's All-Star Weekend. All-Star. And um, yep. take your time. I was listening to uh, WPFW this morning. And um, on one of, this, one of the stations, they were talking about, there's a, there's, there's, I forget the guy's name, but there's an individual out here who vowed eight, $80 million. Of his a, own money. Towards a campaign to get Obama out of office in the next election. Now, mind you, people, Obama's time is up next mm-hmm. year. Oh, next year? 2012. Yeah. So at the end of 2012, they gonna, well, next year, they're pretty much going to be, you know, campaigning for the next president. 80 mil? So, and, and mind you, they just passed some type of legislation where, you know, you can fund, uh, well, it, political affairs can receive funds without, somebody you know revealing where those funds come from so you know you can pretty much uh you know somebody's campaign could be funded from anywhere any source and any they don't have country, to they don't have to tell you world? they don't have to tell you where it's come from, where it comes from you understand what i'm saying so like i mean it used to be you know you had to state where such, such and such money came from you know for i guess tracking purposes or whatever so it won't just be money from all over the place thrown into campaigns and stuff like that. But now, you don't have to see where it's coming from. So, you got people boldly making statements, okay, I got 80 million. Who trying to get Obama out Hold of on. office? Now, we got we to gotta dwell on this 80 mil. Folks, now, whether you believe in Obama's views or not, there was never, a, I have never heard of a president having to go through this, man. As bad as Bush was, you didn't hear nobody come out and say, I got 1 million on him getting out of office. You ain't hear nobody say that. But $80 million to get the man out? Mm-hmm. Woo! That's a... Imagine what good that 80 mil could go to. Couldn't it go to something else? Man, a whole lot more. But Couldn't it go to something like else? I said, like I said, this legislation just shows you how blatant, you know, how, how blatant people are with their money now. Like I said, they couldn't, they couldn't, uh, they couldn't do that. A year ago, two years ago, I told you they bought, they wouldn't have did that. They wouldn't have did they, that with Bush. Listen, listen, but it was being done. 
just behind closed doors. It was being now, done. Being done and someone coming out and saying, yo, I got 80 mil to get him out. That's Those are two different things. Yeah. Um, to put it, like so, some of you may not understand the impact of... Um, or what we trying to say. Yeah, of, of, of what this whole policy is. First of all, let's say... I want to drill in your backyard. I need legislation for me to do that without your consent. I need certain policies to fall f- fall in place. And yep. if I fund a candidate and he wins and he wins, believe you me, he's going to take do what I say or he's going to do what we agreed on. Correct? That's where this policy is so strong and this is this is how this is why like so much stuff fly over our heads. As, as I'm not even going to say black people. I'm just going to say low income people. Yeah. All right. So, you know, when you when, when stuff happens, you know, when people complain about stuff happening and all that good stuff, that's, that's when voting come into play Hold and on. all that. Juice Main 83 put their tunnel websites counting down Obama's ending term. Damn. Damn, they doing it? Like that? Yeah. And see, the problem is, I have a question. I have a question. Because to me, this all ties into what's going on in Egypt and what's going on in Libya. Mm-hmm. Do the people stand up? Now, I got a question. Do people stand up for that? Okay. Like, do people, will people be like, okay, enough is enough. This okay. shit's ridiculous. All right, then check this out. Check, check me this out. out. Paycheck to paycheck, 12 hours a day. By the time you get off work, you gonna stand up or you gonna lay down and get ready for that next twelve Man, hours? Man, fuck it. I'm re- I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go out right now and let's start it. Let's start it. But come on, look what they doing. Like, hold on, and and people don't realize the shit that, that again we switching like we jumping from topic to topic. But the shit that's happening over there in Libya is having an effect. On your oil prices, oil just uh, gas just went up like ten cents in two days. Yeah, and they saying that it's up to a hundred dollars a barrel. When will the people here stand up for something? Can people forget? As much as they, as much as people, especially blacks, don't want to admit this, we never had a slave revolution here. The only slave, re- the only successful slave revolution was in Haiti. And they've been fucking with Haiti ever since. Mm-hmm. So everything that's been given, to, it's like we've been given all this stuff. So when will you stand up? The civil rights movement came to a halt because the people stopped it. We stopped it. When are we going ra- to we going to stand up for something, man? They got these people. These these people are out here claiming eighty mil. Now you best believe if he put eighty mil behind anybody, he gonna have a word and whatever the fuck they about to do. Yeah. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So when will you say enough is enough? And 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 if they don't do what he, what they agreed upon. Oh man, that's when that's when that that's when those deaths out of nowhere start. It's all happening. You know. Come on, man. But like I said, the people so blinded by stuff like American Idol, All Star Weekend, yeah. Super Bowl Sunday, Ooh. stuff like that, you know. And, they, and I say we blinded. I don't mean the. I am one of the people. I'm one of the people too. We blinded. You know what I'm saying? The whole purpose of this talk show was that you know, this causes myself and myself to to become more aware of what's going on around versus, you. versus what we've been. Taught, you know, used or what you see, what we used to. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I own our own people. Are, you know what I'm saying? brainwashed to a certain extent. I mean, they know certain things. They've seen certain things but in their childhoods and they and, and, and in their lifetime. But then they act like the shit don't exist. They see it. They see it. They hear it. Mm-hmm. And, and, and um, back on... T- now, now, check this out. Before we switch, top, before we switch and, and, and transition. You can fund $80 million towards a campaign and you don't have to reveal to the public you know how you got what it, how you got it, but you cannot deposit more than nine hundred nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars in your bank account in without your telling, bank account without telling the federal government where you got that from, and they going to tax the fuck out of it. Yeah. What you do it, so just just that's just, something to think about. Just food for thought. Just food for thought. That's uh, something to think about. So you know what I'm saying. But another thing I heard this morning on WPFW is that um. <laughs> Uh, 
speaking of oil, yeah, there was a report from the Saudis that um, they did an estimation or a report where gas prices are estimated to double by the summer of next year because I guess the supply is running low or whatnot. And then WikiLeaks um, dropped the report. They they WikiLeaks WikiLeaks dropped the report on their site, and then they went back and changed it and said, okay, our estimates were inaccurate. So, you know what I'm saying? Like even they 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 had a certain private session, they made they you know had their presentation, their calculations, and then they took it back. Now this can be proven. You go through WikiLeaks, do your research. This can be proven. This happened. Uh huh. Now if they, you know, mistakenly put out some information that they didn't want you to know about. Imagine what else is going on. Now. You know, I'm, I'm like I said, it's, it's, this is a wee thing. Think twice before you go and blow that money this weekend. Think twice before, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, you want to spaz out over what somebody said or did to you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, like I said, if they if they, if they they want to get... They got you, know, you by the short heads. Yes, yes, pretty much. <laughs> by the short heads. What can you... get? And, and again... What people don't realize, a lot of people don't realize, is this: once oil, if oil doubles, everything goes up. Everything goes up from planes to fruit, from a plane ticket to fruit. Everything goes up. Everything will go up. Think about that. You going, but pray, but your paycheck is staying the same. You, if 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 gas prices double. Lord knows how much is going to be in L.A. and in New York. Yeah. But that if gas prices double, $50,000 a year won't cut it. $50,000 a year is not going to cut it. Yeah. I mean, like, like you said, we all got to wake up. This goes to me and you and everybody that can hear our voice and even people that can't hear our voice. Yeah. And uh, shout out to, man, shout out to the people in our chat room. Yeah, Juice, Juice Man, uh, Wanda Keys, uh, D85, Truth Man. Hey, you know what I'm saying? We appreciate y'all being here we on the site. We appreciate it. And we appreciate y'all feedback. You know, my man said he's going to trade in his car for a 10 speed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He said, if you see him on Route route 50, pedaling the bike, just know he hustling to get to work. And I, and I feel you on that. Hey, and good, I, good I, luck. I, you know what? Last year, last year, I, um, I, I mentioned riding a bike to some of my coworkers, and they was like, "Man, your 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 legs would be as big as your head if you ride to work every day." <laughs> I was like, "Man, what shoot, man? I ain't you know." Hey, fuck it. Hey, I was just thought to hit my mind. I wasn't even thinking about what's going on right now, but you know. But all this is coming from civil unrest, though. People don't realize that the more shit that go on in that northern Africa part of the world in that whole region itself gas prices shoot up so what the, so my question is this because again I brought up this one time when I was like how they kept saying that Egypt was a part of the Middle East and I said because they associated Egypt with the Middle East a lot of people that's looking at the TV say they don't they disagree with what the Egyptians are doing mm -hmm. so my question is this is this a ploy to get people off the side of the, of the civilians. Because think about this. How many people out there would say, fuck that. Them people need to calm the fuck down. I can't pay for all this gas. I've seen it. You've seen it. Mm -hmm. So is this a ploy to try to get the world against those people who want to be uh, liberated? I remember KRS once said we was on the verge of revolution because until they gave us Obama. Until they gave I us remember Obama. that. Now, if you remember, gas was what four something. Yeah, it was. Yeah, and when, yeah. It, when the matter of two, three weeks, it went back down to like close to two. How did no? They were, it was it was twos. It was like yeah. two fifty or so, like something like that. Yeah. Right. So they seen this coming. They was just milking the market. While they could until they, they milked the market as as far as they could. They took it as far as they could. And, and I was in school, yeah. I mean, 
Yeah. Yeah, Wanaki said he seen it hit four dollars in Norfolk. Yeah, that that's we was in school. That's when we was working. You know what I'm saying? Four dollars? Uh, remember remember when people used to joke like, I didn't know gas was gonna be a bill. Well, it's literally a bill. Yeah. You're gonna have to plan your remember when you could get a a twenty dollars worth of gas and be good for for the I, whole week? I remember I remember uh, you know what I'm saying. Out in Emporia, five dollars worth of gas <laughs> to get us to Richmond. And back. For real, man. And, 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 I mean, literally, go to the gas tank, the station. Come on, put five in there. Come on, go down, man. and we come back. <laughs> Sorry, you know what I'm <laughs> so come on. But uh, yeah, for those for those of y'all that's listening, man, if y'all y'all think more people be interested in our conversation, man, uh, you know what I'm saying? Blast, blast, yeah. blast that link out. On Facebook, Twitter, whatever you got, whatever. you know what I'm saying. You know, we all about the people. Um, and and, 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 hey, hold on, and we got to start some shit together. You know what I'm saying? The people listening and the people and your friends, we all got to organize and start some shit. You know, this shit's crazy, man. I'm telling you, this shit is about to get real out here. You heard that before? I mean, you hear you hear it. And it just go over you like, ah, this stuff ain't gonna happen. Until you until you sit back and like, wait a second. It's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen in America. It has to. Yeah. It has to. Everybody can't be a slave for the rest of their life. But good. Um there, I mean there um this weekend I was out of town and uh I talked to a few people and uh I was really uh, comforted by the fact that a lot of things are being done for the kids out in uh, I know Atlanta for sure, and also in Poirier, Virginia. A lot of things being done. Uh, so, you know what I'm saying? That, like, I, I felt good about that. Uh, programs are being put in place. Things are being built. Buildings uh, and, and uh, infrastructures are being built for the kids because, you know what I'm saying, but is it enough? If, if you don't, if you don't have any kids, or if your kids are not really in a poverty-stricken community, you don't, you don't realize how, how detrimental it is for like, for kids to not have a music program, for kids to not have gym class. Like, what is school without recess? Hold on, before you finish, we're on the keys, right? Double O Seven. I agree with you. The time is now. Before it's too late. But getting back to what you said, man. I've heard a lot of people say that they got to reach the kids, man. And I'm going to say this, and I say it all the time. And this is a cycle, man. You have to reach the parent first. Because if you re- you can reach one out of 100 kids. Right. But the 99 kids that you're trying to reach are going back into the same environment that you are trying to get them out of. So you're not doing nothing. All you're doing is giving them a peace of mind for 15 minutes and then sending them back home and say and live your life. You put them in the same in the same shit that they were already in. And then it's like you tell them, "Okay, well calm the fuck down and you be happy with with where you at." You can't reach the children unless you reach the unless you reach the parent. Now I'm not talking about uh Feet in, in the, the like the breakfast programs in school. I'm not talking about nothing. Like I'm talking about when you talk about saving the children, you cannot say you cannot save the children without first reaching the parent. That's like going to school. That's like going to school. If the parent don't give a fuck if the kid go doing what the kid doing in school, then why should the kid care if you talking about stay in school? Well, I mean, in, in, in contrast to that, man. You know, you might be that beacon of light because I mean, you don't under, don't underestimate now, uh, don't yeah. underestimate the kids because some kids see that and they know that. You know what I'm saying? Like if they folks living a lifestyle that they don't agree with and that they're ashamed of, they know that. But I, I will agree with that. But it's like I said. But I mean, I understand the overall concept yeah. of what you're saying. But but also, you gonna reach one? You gonna reach one? I will give you that. You you'll reach one. One of the, one of the problems though that we have is that we underestimate kids these days. You Man. Know, we can't imagine see, we can't imagine I can't I can't imagine. I'm not gonna speak for it, but uh-huh. I can't imagine waking up as a kid having th- not only just one game system, but three game systems, a handheld <laughs> device, a cell phone, 
Um, and the, the, the funny, hold on. It, the it, funny it, thing about you saying that is most of the kids who got all that mm-hmm. barely see their parents. True, <laughs> but I mean, coming up, I mean, we, you're lucky if you had one game system. Yeah, but. And that's another thing coming from the country. We had outdoors. I mean, we was outside all day long. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying, it was to the point where when you, when everybody was, you know, we played a lot of sports. So when everybody got to a certain level of competition, we roamed the city. We okay. rode bikes, walked down to the, whether it be the wreck, whether it be down, you know what I'm saying, Riverside or, you know what I mean, wherever. Okay. I mean, that, there's not that urge, there's not that sense to do that these days with, with all all of these, you know, distractions, but you know, um, but long long story short, man, you know, shout out to everybody that's doing something with the kids. If you working with kids, if you you know, if you even have kids, man, just just put a lot more focus on them than you already are. I'm not saying that you're not focusing on them, but you know, what I'm saying half are you not. Put put your focus into them kids, man, for real, please. Not only not only for their sake, but for your sake. Yeah. Because your time, your, I mean, our time is, I ain't going to say it's almost up, but there's going to come a time where, you know what I'm saying, the kids going to realize how much time and energy we invested in them, and it's going to pay off. Like, I, I understand now about the different things that people did for me and my generation. But, you know what I'm saying, it, it's sad to hear about somebody, mama or, 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 or uncle or father dying, not because of it's their family, but we understood what they did for our community. You understand sure. what I'm saying? Rest in peace to Miss Bottoms. One of the one of the, you know what I mean, one of the most favorite teachers in Emporia. You know what I'm saying? Um who else? Miss Rose Allen who just passed away from Emporia, Virginia. Community leader. Sign me up for NAACP. NAACP. You understand? Know and and when you get older you start to realize what those people mean and what and what, what we meant to them. So you know what I'm saying? Fo- focus on the kids. Spend a lot of time with the kids if you can. You know what I'm saying? If you can't, hey, you know, but it that, is what it is. We all know that reality is reality. Now, I hate to say it like this, man. Now, I hate to say it like this, but I have, they say it takes a village to raise a kid. Mm-hmm. But what happens if the village don't give a fuck? Think about it. If you if you got parents out here that don't care about their kids now, then what makes you think, what makes you think that they're going to give a fuck? About somebody else's next badass kid. We got to come together. That's all that is. I mean, I feel you. But, you know what I'm saying? Just like I said, you know, there's a lot of programs out there. And like I said, I I, I was, I had a conversation with a few people this weekend. And I, I felt real, yeah, I, I felt real, real good about what's going on and what's about to happen. Down there? Or, yeah, or down or, in, in, in my city. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm real proud of what's going on. I ain't, I ain't saying no names and I ain't saying nothing, but I'm going to just let it unfold. Well, shout out to the M. Yeah, shout out shout out to Emporia, Virginia. Yeah. Man. Um, we, we, got, we got one more topic. Okay. What did and, it is? And, and, and it actually slipped my mind, man. Um, <laughs> some told it me must right, be one some, of those topics. Nah, some told me to write Here it, it is. Here it is. Some told me to write oh, it Oh, my down. bad. My bad. Some told me to write it down, but I didn't. Man. Oh, what is it? What is it? It is. Man, I, like I said, you can't think of it. Huh? You see well, that? I'm, I'm gonna leave it up to you, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, don't leave it up to me. What's, what's on your mind, Bro Swift? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't really have nothing on my mind, ladies and gentlemen. To, again, the night was just a a quick a quick show. What I do want to say is, hold on, not today, right? But not today. Sometime, because we're going to try to do the show every Wednesday. So sometime between now and Wednesday, because we might do it on the weekend, you never know. We're going to talk about the Willie Lynch letter in depth. Now, I want, now it, we could talk about some of it right now, but then we'll probably, go keep, we'll probably keep going because I know everybody's going to have a comment on it. So if you get a chance, read the Willie Lynch letter. So hold on, are we gonna read it or are we just gonna discuss it? Both. Okay, we're gonna do both. We're gonna read it in its entirety and we're going to discuss it. Matter of fact, we gonna put you wanna put it up on the site? Yeah, we definitely. Alright, we're gonna put the joint up on the site. And we're gonna launch the site this weekend. Now um <laughs> We got a lot of <laughs> for you. Yeah, man, who just tuned in there, man. We uh it's broke black credits featuring myself. 
Romelo Catois. Remy Lobo. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I seen a Ustream faker the other day. Um, we got this blasted out on uh, different sites. So the Ustream might say four views, but it, it's more than that, bro. You know oh. what I'm saying? But, yeah, I, I appreciate the hate. I mean, the love, though. Oh, I appreciate man. that, man. I know you watch it too, man, but that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Who was it? You ain't nobody if you ain't got no haters. Oh, who was and it? And I don't I... like to say haters because haters is like a, uh, in my opinion, haters is, is like, uh, it's not really that See, now <sighs> intelligent I... of a term, but I just call you a, a critic. You know what I'm saying? Man, and we I... all critics. So yeah, we all are critics. I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. Bruh. Oh, my God. I want to know who it is now. Nah, I mean, it's, 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 it's a cyber, no, it's a cyber, it's a cyber person. Bro. Oh, oh, oh. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I, I appreciate you watching sure. it and listening. But yeah, I know what I want to talk about, man. Yeah. It's funny how people are different when they drunk than when they sober. <laughs> it's, it's just funny, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? That is not a topic to talk about. These it people. is, man. No, like, it ain't. No, no, check it, man. I've never, That's the liquid I've never, I, 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 I never say never, but I've never been like. I don't think I've ever spazzed out when I was drunk, man. Like, mad. Okay, okay. You know I'm saying? Okay, for sure. For sure. Hold on, hold on. If you're going to talk about this, then how did this come about? Because that means that you saw somebody do it. Now, I've you seen, see, I've you seen see it all the time. You see it all the time. Exactly. You see it all the time. But it's that liquid courage, man. Nine times out of ten, the person that drinks, that does whatever they do, they wanted to do it in the first place. Exactly. They wanted to do it in the first place. Mm-hmm. So if a motherfucker get drunk and he in the club and he pinch a girl's ass, he wanted to do that, but he knew that it was wrong when he was sober. Mm-hmm. Now he has an excuse. <laughs> or the girl that claims that she didn't want to sleep with the dude. She knew she wanted to sleep with him in the first place, mm. but she used the alcohol as the excuse. And there's a lot of them running out there. The alcohol gets you. It happens to all of us, though. Yeah, it happens to all of us. And, and I don't just mean like mad and like I said, it's it's it's, it's people people different when they're drunk, man. I mean, and I don't mean I mean drunk. <laughs> Hold on, you mean like like oh oh? For <laughs> no, no, no. I mean I mean you got control. You got control, but like you said, it's it's liquid courage. Man. That liquid courage, man. That liquid courage comes out, man. Comes out. It definitely does, hey. man. That's probably your Saba, man. He probably got that liquid courage in him. Liquid courage. You don't need liquor for that kind of courage. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And you know the surprising thing about it? Now, now we, we might not, we can't dive into this too deep. But I want you to think about this. Alcohol is legal. Yeah. Alcohol is legal. They legalize alcohol. Then they tell you how much you can drink. Mm. What's wrong with that? So... So I mean I heard the I heard the uh, the argument before. The argument is, well, why is it marijuana legal? Right? That's the out that's the that's the argument. But uh, alcohol is legal. Alcohol kills more people mm-hmm. than weed has ever done. Shit, did it only kill more people than, than guns? The, I, I might have to I'm gonna look this up. Cause I think that's I think alcohol is one of the number one it's like a num one of the number one killers in America. It has to be. Drunk driving kills himself and three other people in the car. Person dies of of uh uh, uh what's it called binge. Binge drinking. Binge yeah. drinking. Person dies. I mean, you go down. You go on. Alcohol. But God damn it, I bet you everybody on this motherfucker drink. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean. I bet you you do. I do. <laughs> I'm not going to fake it. I mean, it's 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 crazy. Like, uh, I would, you know. Take your time. Advertise, the advertising alcohol is really crazy. Oh, man. Because, uh, like. Hold on, before you finish, I never understood. When well, somebody told me this a long time ago, I never understood why. Why someone made a big deal about it until I got older. Why do they show you an alcohol commercial mm-hmm. and a car commercial right behind it? <laughs> and then tell you not to drink and drive. Tell me that. Why do they show... Hold on. Got another one for you. 
Mm-hmm. Why do they show alcohol commercials during all sports events? All sports events. Well, that's well. Prime example. Um, where do uh, where do a lot of people go to watch sports events? But hold on, hold on. You saying that? I, most college athletes can't even drink, and they got and they and they and they showing beer commercials, right? Uh, they can't drink. You mean eighteen age wise? Oh, age wise, that yeah. we all know yeah. what they're doing. Yeah, but they not. But legally, they can't drink. Right. But yet, there they are, a beer commercial, mm-hmm. beer sponsorship, sponsored by Budweiser, the NCAA on NBC. <laughs> <laughs> Blatant. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In your face. But, but that and that's for you. And guess what? And guess what people do? But yeah, no, 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 no. But, but 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 yet you wanna you wanna throw the book at somebody that kills somebody from drunk driving if he survived. Yeah. Yeah. Well, come on. And they throw and they will throw the book. Oh, oh, at what you. happened? What happened? To the old boy. I remember they had that drag race locally, and they killed somebody. The the um, bystanders. Is that the jump off on two ten last year? Uh I don't know if it was last year. It was definitely last year. They tried to, yeah. It was last year. I think they they, they was racing, the, and I guess somebody lost control of the car and they killed somebody. One of them had a little bit of alcohol in their blood, and uh, yeah, that book got thrown at them. Hey, whoever heard of this? It's mothers against drunk driving. Mad. Mm-hmm. Now, how hypocritical is mad to say stop, no more drunk driving, and then you get a bitch that that's that sponsors mad, or I mean that that's with mad. And she drink in front of her kids mm. every night. What kind of shit is that? What kind of shit is that, ladies and gentlemen? And then you got to set the example. Going back to what you said about setting the example for your kids. You can't keep drinking in front of your kids and then tell your children not to drink. Where's the psychological sense in that? If they see you do it, they're going to naturally do it. Period. Point blank. Stop drinking. Say no to alcohol. Say yes to the tree. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Go ahead, man. I hope this don't get it. The tree <laughs> brings you home, baby. <laughs> oh, man. Shout out to the Molly family, man. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, like, like alcohol ash, right? Uh-huh. If you go down New York Avenue, I guarantee you, you see at least 10 billboards. Alcohol. Oh, oh man! And and it's like it's like you on your way to the club. You on your way to the party. So I, let, there, there's very few spots you can go to in DC without going down New York Avenue. True or false? That's oh man, I oh mean, man. You know what you, I'm saying? Yeah. So unless so you like, unless you coming from New York, yeah. I, I mean not New York. Unless you coming from VA. Yeah. Ooh, you look. You seeing all these? <laughs> look, you yeah. seeing all these yeah. alcohol ads? You get in the club. You like, yo, buy me a drink. When you when you really think about it, on your way to the club, you, it's like you picking and choosing. Okay, we want you to drink this on your way to the club. Yeah. We want you to drink this on your way to the game. Yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah, and people do it. See how far we all behind? We way behind. Way behind. We, this we is way a, behind. Hey, hey, download my mixtape though. <laughs> download my mixtape. You know what I'm saying? Let me post that link on Facebook right quick. You feel me? We way behind. We are man. way behind. We are way behind. Way behind. They've been. What they say? It's not. It's not smart enough to say that they, it's, that they playing checkers and we playing chess. I mean, not my bad. Switch that up. They playing chess and we playing checkers. They gotta be playing something else. Man, they playing with satellites. And we playing. With, we still skipping rocks. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's really going on. If you really want to break it down like that, they playing yeah, battleship man. and we playing quest. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> they they been fucking with y'all. Man. Every time you get to the game, they done switch to another one. Man. God man. damn. Mm, 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 mm. When you go when people gonna wake up? Man. Hey. Yo. I mean But have another drink. Yeah. You know <laughs> Have another one. Have another one. Have another one. I mean say and you know what I understand what some people feel like there's nothing they can do about what's going on. Man, nah. You can do no, something. No, no, no. I know. I, I, I know something. we can do something, but I understand why some people just say, you know what? <laughs> the knife to a laser <laughs> fight. <laughs> no. True indeed. Man. Hey, my God. I understand why some people just give up and say, you know what? Fuck it. I, I know why. I know now. I know why too. Yo, 
What 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 fifty say? Death gotta be easy, cause life is hard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, what my man Fiend say? This one's for, for my man Juice Man eighty three. What Fiend say? Man, I know why some people on dr- on drugs, boy. Life hard as a motherfucker yet. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, that yeah, was for, that was for you. Shout out to everybody just tuned in. Um, <laughs> Brook Black Critics, another Brook Black Critic conversation. Yep. And we about to wind it down, but um, it's been a pretty good show. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Thank you for in. listening. Uh, thank you everybody. And uh, matter of fact, to all the artists out there, I see I see you D eighty five man. From here on out, if you're a local artist, you want, you know, your music featured on Broke Black Critics. We'll do it. You know what I'm saying? We, you know, it's nothing for us to blast that. Yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, we all got to come up. As a matter of fact, um, I was, uh, we about we about to close out. We know I ain't gonna close out with nothing else because um, I I got I got some of D85 music. But it's it's on my external, um, so I ain't, I ain't gonna blast no local shit tonight. But definitely next show we, we we starting out with some of that fast money digital. Um, but look out for um, speaking of fast money di- money digital. Um, take your time. Take your time. I'm about I'm about I'm about to drop a little piece for uh, Bones. Um, what's the name of the joint? Uh, Up that pause. That that's an awkward pause you just gave. Uh, I got like four different projects I'm working on right now. I know you do, man. I know you do. Man. But anyway, we, we Bones about to drop a little little semi video. Um, and alleyway, we different video about to drop this week. Uh, we had the product drop. Uh, game time last week, and express yourself, expose yourself. Volume two, we'll be here in June. So please stay tuned. And if you ever want to play back some of the Broke Black Critics um, show, Truth Acknowledged, my man, Truth Acknowledged. That's the name of the Bones joint that's going, uh, I'm going to drop this week. Um, uh, I was I thought it was Ride With Me, but it's Truth Acknowledged. Um, alleyway, product, and Express Yourself, Expose Yourself. That's a DVD with all local talents. And we just creating a platform, showcase for all the local um, artists or whatnot, so... You know what I mean? If you want to get down with that, shoot an email to BrokeBlackCritics at, at gmail.com. And um, before uh, before we end every show, we got to do something to piss people off. So I want people to understand something. If you go to school, if you go to school, especially Norfolk State University, this is the only thing they'll give you when you graduate. <laughs> it's a T-shirt. <laughs> it's a T-shirt. <laughs> Historically Black College right here. I want y'all to see that. This is all they give you. This is all they give you. Stay in school, people. And you, too, can receive a T-shirt and frame it (laughs) for your children's children to see. Thank you. I don't know what the fuck he talking about, (laughs) but I got a good-paying job, and I'm getting a lot of training. Uh, uh, hold on, hold thanks on. to thanks to uh, Norfolk State University, we achieve with excellence. Behold the green and gold. Behold it. Behold <laughs> it. Look at it. I want you to look at it. Acknowledge it. <laughs> Feel it. Because that's all they gave that man. Oh man. Feel it. A T-shirt. That, this guy's guess, wild. guess what? They wouldn't have gave him a T-shirt at Duke. <laughs> 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 just like the black man, crabs in a bucket. <laughs> but he right, he right. You know what I'm saying? He right. They are getting iPods and laptops, shit like that. But you know, we gotta start. We gotta start from the bottom and make our way up. But, man, this uh, was a good show. Thanks for listening. Yeah, great show. Blast man. it if you care. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be on. Uh, if not Saturday, then Sunday. Like I said, read that Willie Lynch letter. You know what I'm saying? Show us some love. Blast us out, man. I know we're not consistent with a day and a time, but we we working on that so that it can be more, you know, accurate as far as when people can tune in and, and more official and, and yeah. make make that a part of, of, of what you watch on a daily basis. It's something new, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no reality T V but we just speaking our minds. Hold on, with, hold on. Reality T V's not even reality if you watching that dumb shit. They got writers for the show. Yeah, so 
Once again, it's been another Broke Black Critics fe uh, conversation featuring myself, Romelo Catois. And Remy LeBeau. What it do, baby? Yeah, we out, y'all. But they beat, they beat the uh, the Lakers Hall of Fame team, didn't they? And they had a Hall, a Hall of Fame team. They did. They did. Um, hey, but I think they go. Hey, I think they're gonna give Miami a run for their money, man. They're not gonna give Miami nothing. Hey, tell me anything. Come man. on, man. Leave the weed alone. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it alone, man. And if this gets to my job, yes, the King LeBaron. <laughs> I only, I only see one team stopping them, and they ain't going to say who. And it ain't the Celtics. Lee John. Lee John. That's what you call him. Uh, why you call him Lee John? <laughs> you just, ain't that what my man said on, 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 uh, on a Ghost Rider? Who are you? We are Legion. He is Legion, man. <laughs> I hear you talking, man. I hear you talking. But they're not going to win. Yeah. yeah. They're not going to win it. So and you didn't uh you you did mention Darren Williams to the next day. Yeah, you? yes I did. Uh you know what I, I thought I thought they would be, uh the Knicks would have been better off with Darren Williams and no. uh, and um and Carmelo. Mm. No. Come on man, they could have did like a three way trade. Carmelo, Darren Williams and, and the start of Man, come on man. They would have unlo people would have <laughs> been unloading teams. What you mean unloading? They would yo, the, the Knicks wouldn't have had nothing. Nah, it, to get all it that. wouldn't have been like that. Because the Knicks, the Knicks need, I mean, the Nets need draft picks. They don't need, you Man. know. The Nets want to win. When they get to Brooklyn, they're going to want to win. That's the bottom line. The point guard ain't going to do all that in the East. You need more than a point guard. You, you don't need a scoring point guard to win it. Listen, man. Thank you. Your hesitation said no, it all. No, no. You need more hesitation than a, said it all, people. You need hesitation more than, you know, said you, it all. Listen, you need more than a point guard on the East. Period, man. Yeah, I will agree with that. But you don't need a scoring point guard. Thank you, fans, man. Fans are stupid. But see, you know, and I and I kind of thought he sold himself out when he did that last dunk. Nah, man. Come on, man. Come on. Don't don't say that, man. Cause he listen. Don't say that. Listen, man. Blake did an old dunk. The first time. So he could have did an old dunk that was spectacular. Blake. The second time. Blake Griffin did. did all this. All, all Blake Griffin did. All he. My man Bert, BD threw the law. He caught it and jumped over the hood of a car. How. How difficult for him was that? Now I'm not saying that it's not difficult for the average person. But how difficult a dunk was that for him? If you can dunk with two hands, you could have did that dunk that Blake Griffin did. Ah, uh, somebody would have bust their ass. He did jump from he 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 didn't jump from the free throw line, but he he jumped from a a, a nice. And then listen, if he nice, if, decent space listen, away, if, if he'd have jumped over the the the, the axle or the wheel and did a dunk, then I would have said, you know what, he won. He didn't even jump over the wheel. I would agree with that, but but. He 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 could he put some launch to when it. When they pulled a car out, I said he's gonna kill himself <laughs> because there's no way he's jumping over a car. And then when I seen how they pulled it off, I'm like, uh, oh, did you see how they backed it up? I told you, Kenny and the choir won that form. Kenny and the choir. Kenny is man. Ken, yo, that's a, yo, that Kenny need to need to try to market that. Kenny Smith need to market Kenny and the choir. He won that form. Go figure. It was a ter hey, it, but the dunk contest was alright this year. The dunk, the dunk, dunk contest, contest was, was right. better than it was the past two years. You know what I'm saying? And and, and on the on the on the topic of Kenny, oh, I, I'm, oh, I'm oh. gonna get off topic, but Kenny, Kenny talked so much trash to Charles Barkley, and Kenny was nowhere near as nice as Charles Barkley in his entire career. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want you to go to the front of your car and just stand still <laughs> and jump over and it. jump on it. Jump, jump, just jump on it. Yeah, because you can do it. You can do unless you are three hundred pounds and have not and have and have no athletic ability. Now I ain't gonna say three hundred pounds. You, but if you, unless you have no athletic ability, you can jump on the hood of a car. Especially that what was it? 
It was a Kia. It was a Kia. A Kia. I ain't gonna lie, that Kia was a, it looked like a big body Kia, but man, it's still come a Kia. On, man. It's a Kia. Yeah. It's a toy. It's a toy car. It's a. Man. I told Kenny one that, and then he bought how yeah, fit, Kenny, how, yeah, Kenny make me sick, man. How fitting, how fitting he brought a choir to sing for this one. Oh, yeah, man. You know what? No, I'm glad you said that. How I forgot about that. He brought a choir out to sing for that, man. How fitting for that? I want to see, I want to see them religious, I want to see religious people, man. How fitting he brought a choir out there. I bet they got paid for it, too. Listen, man. Hold on. Why are you talking? I'm going to do what they was doing, okay? You ready? Go ahead. Go ahead. Dog, I believe I could fly. When I seen that choir come out there, I believe I could touch the sky. I said, man, it's everything got a price on it. Man. About it every night and day. He he ain't fly over shit. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> no, he ain't fly over no. damn. He, he jumped over a hood of a car. A hood, people. A hood of a car. A hood of a car. Man, this guy, man. And you know, I knew he was going. Yo. That, I knew he was going to win it. Listen, the dunk that the dunk that Jim, uh, McGee did in the final round should have won it alone. The, no, that dunk when he dunked on both them baskets when oh, he yeah. threw the joint off. But see, they gave they, they, they gave him the high score throughout the uh, man, throughout the dunk. He should have won that, man. No, this, the first, it's the fans, the man. The dunk that he did. The, I don't know if you remember, but the, 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 he did he did what was the Clyde Drexler? Which one? From behind him, he dunked the ball. Oh yeah, behind well, the backboard. Hey. hey. He won it. It's the fans. Thank you. That's all I need to hear. Anyway. Uh, on to further news. No, we ain't, <laughs> we ain't, we ain't on to further news. Uh, you know, uh, on the same same token, well, I hope I hope Bibby. Oh. Well, Bibby ain't really doing too. I mean, he, it's not much he can do with the, the Wizards. Well, they got, you know what? They got Bibby to teach Wall. That was, a, that was, because they needed a, uh, they needed a veteran, man. They didn't, because Kurt wasn't going to teach him nothing. We all know Nick Young's not going to teach him nothing. Did, he, Nick, did Nick, Nick Young stay with the Wizards? Yeah. Okay. This was a straight up. This They swapped. They just swapped players. Who did they give up? They just gave up Kurt Hyder. Oh, yeah. That's, for, that's, for Bibby. That's good. Yeah. That, that's some justice. Get him out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but he wasn't a bum. Who He's was, not the problem. Who wasn't a bum? Kurt. Somebody dropped. Point guard dropped 40 on Kurt. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. 40. That don't mean nothing, man. The NBA, because you can you can get means 40. a lot. That you can get lot. forty put on you on any night, man. Quickly, like that. Come on now, come on. Don't say that. Don't say that. Yeah, me right. Because Dwayne Wade gonna call, gonna go Kobe Bryant, and what happens if Kobe goes for one of those magical sixty plus games? The point guard scored forty. Heimer scored like seven. Oh. Okay. I mean. Fast, fast don't lie. <laughs> fast don't lie. Don't. <laughs> uh, well, what's next on the agenda? Uh, we're sticking to the NBA, man. Uh-huh. Hey, listen, man. Stick M- with your team. McGee got robbed. Robbed. Dunk yo, yo. Yes, he did. He got robbed. Yeah, he got robbed. Blake. Your, your man didn't jump over. He didn't jump over the car. He jumped over the hood. Listen, he was better off jumping over that little Asian boy that was in there at <laughs> first, man. For real, man. He, he, barely, he barely jumped over the car. Hold on. Hold on. He jumped over a hood of a car. Now, people that, that was impressed by that. What in the world was that? But anyway, welcome everybody to another Broke Black Critic Conversation featuring myself, Romelo Catois. And me, Remy LeBeau. What it do? Yeah, thanks everybody for tuning in. A um, lot of interesting stuff going on sure. in, in this in this crazy world. Uh, but on top of that, shout out to um, Fast Money Digital, D85, the whole click, Bones, um, local artist out of Emporia, Virginia. The M. Check them out on Reverb Nation, Facebook, and all that good stuff. Uh, shout out to you for tuning in. Thank you. First and foremost, we ain't gonna waste no time. We gonna get right into it. Uh, big big trade deals going on in the NBA. We got to talk about the NBA. Yeah. Melo to the Knicks. Uh, Darren Williams to the Nets. Bibby to the Wizards. Is it any more? Uh. 
they're, they're not right now, but there will be. There will be. Well, Billups is with the Knicks. I mean, everybody talking about everybody man. talking about Carmelo Anthony. Billups is now in New York. Yeah, Billups is in New York, and, and it's going to be a problem. You thought Felton was something? Big shot. Billups. I think they're going to be a problem. No, no, they're not going to be a problem. They're going to be a problem. Billups. Well, problem. you know what? Billups did take a bunch of nobodies to the finals and won and won it and won it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You got to say it right. They went to five Eastern Conference championships in a row. Mm-hmm. Two. They went to two finals and should have won two in a row. If you forget, mm-hmm. you should have won two in a row. 